We're going to learn how to do a tape resist drawing and painting today. And I'm going to make a snowflake because it's winter time and the holidays are coming up. But if you want to do a word or a couple words like happy holidays or maybe a tree or joy, something like that, you could do that too. Anything you'd like is okay as long as it's school appropriate. So I'm starting to make my snowflake with my tape. So it was pretty easy. I just made an X and then put another piece of tape through the middle of that X. And now I'm adding my end pieces to the snowflake, making a little bit of a fancier snowflake. Make sure those tapes are really stuck down so that when we do the painting over it, the paint will get underneath your tape. So I'm just using masking tape right now, but uh, blue painter's tape is the best tape to use. I just don't happen to have any right now. So this masking tape will work just fine. Then take your time making your image, whatever you choose to do. I'm just making sure those are really stuck down as I build my snowflake. All right, good. Now I'm just going to add one little more element to my snowflake. I'm going to make cross bars in the middle of my snowflake and I'm ripping my tape in half to make it a little thinner but you could also use scissors if that's easier for you all right looks like I am done with my snowflake with my tape part at least so I'm going to move on to my crayons and I'm just going to scribble all over my snowflake it doesn't matter if the crayon goes on top of the tape because we're going to peel off the tape later. So it looks a little messy right now, but it's going to look really cool in the end. I'm just going to use a bunch of warm colors, I think, and scribble all over my snowflake. This is really fun part because you don't have to do any thinking, really. You just need to scribble. The more color, the better. Adding a little purple now for some contrast to my warm colors. Getting color all over my paper. Alright, looks pretty full of crayon now, so I think I'm going to move on to my watercolor painting. And my crayons will still show up, uh, my crayon scribbles, because they're waxy, and so the watercolor will resist the waxy surface of those crayons. So as you can see, I'm just painting right on top of everything and you can still see all of my crayon lines and you're going to see my snowflake in a minute when I pull off the tape too. So don't worry about painting right over the tape because you're going to see that snowflake once you peel it off. Just covering up all of my white spots with paint so it's nice and colorful. Make sure you use enough water when you're using the watercolors so that it spreads out nicely. You don't need to scoop your watercolors, it should just slide right on.
All right. Now I'm going to wait for my painting to dry. And then I'm going to peel off my tape. If you peel when it's too wet, you have a potential to rip your paper, and that would be pretty sad. So wait for the watercolors to dry. You might be able to do it at the end of class if you have time, or maybe next week. And I'm just going to very carefully peel off my tape. See, I'm taking my time doing each piece individually and moving really slowly to make sure that my paper doesn't rip. And once I've peeled all this tape off, you'll be able to see my beautiful snowflake image or whatever you decided to make with the tape. Just remember to peel very, very gently. And you might want to hold down your paper with your other hand while you peel. That makes it a little easier. Take your time with this part. Do not rush. So you put a lot of work into this and it'd be sad if it ripped. I'm peeling off my last piece of tape now, and then my beautiful snowflake will be revealed.